guys and welcome back to a brand new video guys so i'm super excited about today's video for one we got a few exciting things to go on but first i want to talk about this brand called lily silk i am very excited because you guys know that i love like luxury um loungewear i love all things luxury and soft on my body so when they reached out to me i was very excited to actually work with the company so lily silk is a company that sells luxury silk bedding they also have pajamas blouses etc and it's very like luxury and very good quality they end up sending me um some products this is actually how their packaging looks it's very very nice i love it a lot so they did send me three things what i end up getting in today's video is i end up getting the bonnet and then also I end up getting a pillowcase. Like I love this packaging, it is super cute. And then also I end up getting a night blouse that I love. Like I said, where you can find all kinds of quality products such as blouses, pajamas, pillowcases, and it's all mulberry silk. It has a lot of beauty benefits to the skin and the hair and it is absorbative to moisture. So I'm super excited to show you guys these products. Um, so yeah, I'll go ahead and show you guys the first product which I actually have on and I'll go ahead and show you guys uh, some of the products that we have. Okay guys, so the first item that I end up getting is the 22 Mommy Classic Silk Nightshirt. I absolutely love this material. It is very soft. 22 Mommy Cashmere Silk Glossy Smooth Soft. Also basic shirt collar, silk wrap buttons, specially designed with 3 fourth sleeves with banded cuffs have a nice dream in this luxury silk piece their thoughtful details and unmatched craftsmanship invite you to slow down and get comfortable and take time to appreciate the simple joys in life and of course i had to get the sleeping bonnet to go with it so this is the elegant night sleep bonnet i like it because it's long so like if i have like my long like ponytail and like my long wig or something like that it will be able to cover my whole entire head. This is a 19 Mommy Cashmere Silk Glossy and Smooth Long Cap Silk Wrap Plastic Band. This is a long silk sleep bonnet you can put on your long hair and as a nightcap, very relaxed. Instead of being folded onto your head like a short nightcap, it can be easily worn on the head before going to bed. Silk can effectively keep your hair properly hydrated, not frizzy, and it is beneficial for the hair as well. And last but not least, guys, I have the 19 Mommy Terse Envelope Silk Pillowcase, which are very beneficial for our hair. It is 100% grade 6A mulberry silk, skin friendly and breathable. The Lily Silk 19 Mommy Pillowcase is perfect for your choice to discover the world of silk. The pillowcase has an envelope closure for those who like to put their hands under the pillowcase when they sleep. Inexpensive, yet effective in treating common sleep related problems such as skin irritations. The pillowcase also leaves your hair, skin, and face hydrated. Also, what I just love about this pillowcase is that, is that it is very good quality. I do have a silk pillowcase on my bed, but this quality definitely is way better. So I'm super excited to put my face on this and just like my hair because it's very good quality and it has some really great benefits. Okay, guys, so that is everything that I ended up getting from the company Lily Silk. Do not forget to check them out. Very good company. I'm super excited to have collaborated with them. I want to thank Lily Silk for sponsoring this portion of today's video. I will have a coupon code in the description box as well as their website if you guys would like to check them out. Now. Hey, guys, and welcome back to a new vlog. So, guys, in today's video, we got a few things going on. First off, in my last video, I showed you guys where I ended up moving the dining table inside of my living room. But now I want to do like a little makeover inside of my little dining area where the table was. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ivani. Do not forget to like, comment, subscribe. And if you're returning, then hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So right now, basically I am dressed for the day. I'll show you guys what I'm wearing here in a minute. But I want to go to the Goodwill today. So first off, I got work tomorrow, which is Monday. Today's Sunday, so it is a dollar day at the Goodwill. So I want to go to the Goodwill and see if I can find like, like dressy pants. And then see if I can find like a cream like coat, but like bigger and thicker. So I want to try to find that today. So we about to go ahead and head out. I'm going to show you guys everything that we are um, wearing today. And then also perfume and purses. So first off, the perfume I think I'm going to do today, I think is going to be... Mm, which one is this? I think I'll do. Oh yeah, I'm feeling like this one. 
I think I'll do the Ambry Saffron today. I think that's the one we'll do, which is by um, Baccarat. Okay, and that's all I'm gonna put on right there. Just a one-two bop, quick. Okay. Accessories, just got a little ring, and then this little necklace. Here is what I am wearing today. Just like a cute little chic outfit. I got, um, I have basically my little, actually you guys have not seen this jacket before. This is actually a uh, suit jacket that I ended up getting from the Goodwill. It was probably a dollar. <laughs> and um, I just put like this little cream hoodie up under it. And then I have like my little regular leggings. And then I have my little um, black boots right there. And that's how that looked. And then I also just paired it with a little cream hat that is by Vince Camuto with this little um, gold necklace right here and stuff like that. So I just thought this was a cute little chic look. The jacket is absolutely gorgeous. So that's how it looks with the jacket. And then I'm pretty sure the purse that I'm going to do is my um, Teddy Blake. So I will be doing this purse today, which you guys know that I always carry. So this is basically the um, full outfit. Really cute and chic. So I just love this. So. Let me know what you guys think about this outfit and then we're going to go ahead and head out. Also guys, my um, hoodie also has um, a hood on it as well. So I do have um, a hood on this. So it just give it like a different little like look. So it's like, you know, I think it's really cute. And honestly, I just put it together. Just real simple, you know, but still look like put together. So that's how that's looking. Hopefully the light isn't too bad in here. So. Yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and head out. Okay, so. guys, so we are now in the car. Um, we're about to head out, y'all. Literally, why did it just start snowing? Like, literally, it just starts snowing. But, anyways, um, what I'm drinking today is I have my um, water, um, which is in a glass. So, um, yeah, so that's that. We're about to go ahead and head out. I think I'm gonna go to the Goodwill first, and then after that, we'll see what the day take us. Right now, the time is. 2:41. The Goodwill actually closed at six o'clock on Sundays, so the Goodwill is definitely the first place where we're gonna go. So we're gonna go ahead and head there first, um, and then after that, I'm not sure yet, but let's go ahead and go. So it is officially a new day, beautiful day. Um, it is snowing right now in my city. Let me know if you guys have received snow yet. So I went to the Goodwill yesterday, got a few little things or whatever, but I literally got some cute stuff. 
um i found some really unique pieces and i'm very excited to show you guys today but first things first i want to show y'all this hair that i just end up um getting through the mail it actually came from the website called aliexpress which is like a website where you can like buy all kind of stuff but like for a cheaper price like clothes shoes electronics everything like beds just really anything you can think of they pretty much uh sell on aliexpress so i actually love aliexpress I get a lot of my um, little devices um, and stuff when it comes to my YouTube channel and stuff like that. So, they just be having like little trinkets and stuff that you need. And then just like other little stuff that you've never even heard of until you get on their website. So, I'm going to try to comment below. Let me know. Have you guys ever shopped at AliExpress and do you guys shop there? And they also sell wigs. Like wigs, hair, extensions, ponytails, everything. So, this is actually my first wig from AliExpress. Um, so I'm really excited. So the wig company is called Wig Girl and it came from AliExpress and I'll put the links and everything in the description box below if you guys would like to check out this wig. But it actually comes in this purple bag right here which is absolutely gorgeous. It's like a little silk bag. It's so really cute. And this is how it looked. Like I said, the brand is by Wig Girl and it just has like these little strings at the top. When you open the bag, you get this packaging right here. And this comes on front of the plastic bag okay just look like instructions and then i did get a 14 inch in this hair and it is like a brazilian body wave okay okay so this wig right here is actually a 13 by 4 um lace wig it is in a 14 and then the density is 180 okay this is actually how it looks on the website and y'all i'm not gonna lie it looks like that like this is how it looks on the website okay and the price for this wig was i believe like one 145 or something like that for this one in particular they do ship um worldwide free shipping from china to the united states via dhl and let's see here so yeah just by the reviews and everything that's what made me get them this is the wig y'all and let me just say i have been wanting a short bob i feel like we all like a short curly bob um just in our closet just like any looks i feel like i can wear this to work so what you have in this wig is you have let's see one two three four combs so you have four combs inside of this wig so those are the combs and then you have a comb back here in the nape area okay so this is like a transparent it's supposed to be like a hd lace but the lace is very very good on it as you can see the lace looks really good like it almost looked pre-plucked but it looks really good and this is how it looks in the inside let's see so i believe let's see here so this should be six inches back maybe four inches back but this is how the parting looks in the inside of the wig. You see, just looks very natural. Um, the hairline just looks amazing. Like, love the hairline. Like, it just looks so good. This is like the curl pattern. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. This is literally exactly what I needed. Like, I needed a little fire, little bop wig like this i have not installed a wig in so long so i'm a little nervous i'm gonna go ahead and put it on my head real quick just to show you guys the vibes that we got going so far <laughs> okay girl first off let me start off by saying wow second off let me start off by saying i like short hair on my face <laughs> this is how she looks she is a beaut wow so i cut the lace okay Cut the lace as far as I could back, put a little bit of powder, and that's literally all I did. I used the got to be glue, okay, to like glue it down a little bit and stuff like that. But y'all, like how gorgeous is this hair? Like, wow. Like I said, very bouncy. The quality is just there. So cute. This is how it looks on this side. Again, curls are just so nice. So already out the gate, my first impression of this wig is good quality. Um, the hair is extremely soft. It's very bouncy. The lace is perfect. All you gotta do is put some um, 
powder or concealer on the lace and you in there sis literally yeah absolutely love this wig i'm not sure if i'll wear it to work or not but it's definitely giving valentine's day dinner y'all know valentine's day coming up sis oh <laughs> so gorgeous like it looks so good like everything just looks good like i said the lace the parting is really nice okay and i just went ahead and just parted it right here a little bit and then i tucked it behind the ear because this is like basically like my i guess like my like signature like i would always wear my hair like this before i had started doing like long hair but girl we back with the short vibes and it looks so good like Comment, let me know what you guys think about this wig. I will have links in the description of the website where you guys can um, get it from. And I want to thank AliExpress for um, sending me this wig to do a review on as well. And I also will have a coupon code below if you guys would like to purchase it so you guys can save a little bit of coin. Hey ladies, so basically what you're seeing right here are the items that I end up getting from the Goodwill. And we will go over prices and stuff like that. Um, so first things first, this black coat right here is absolutely gorgeous. Such a staple, just such a classic. Um, I've actually been looking for like a black thick coat like this, like oversized. I love this. Um, this was $6.99. Really good quality. Um, it has the um, buttons on here and then also has two big pockets as well. Super gorgeous. And then over here, y'all, I found me a olive green trench coat. Really cute, really long. It's like a, almost like a, almost like a suede like material. It's very soft. You can tell it's really good quality, y'all. The only thing I hate is that this did not have a size. So, I am not able to see what size this jacket is because there's no size on it. It does come with a belt, okay? So it can be wrapped around, absolutely gorgeous. I got this scarf right here. I think this was like $1.49, really nice. So I got this scarf, nice little camel color. And then this is how this coat looks um, close up. Pea coat, like little suit, little vibe that I like up here. Like I said, this is the brand. Okay, and it's extremely long. It comes all the way down. It looks so good. It's all uh, black. I love it. It's oversized. So, love that. This one right here is the olive green trench coat that I end up coming across, which was, I believe, the same price as the black coat. The details close up. The material is really nice. These are how the buttons look right here. And then also, like I said before, it has a belt in the back, so it just fits really cute. Purse little like wallet that I end up getting from the Goodwill. And I believe this is uh, genuine leather, like real leather. Really good quality, I love the buckle. This is like my style. It has a zipper in the back as well. Okay, and then you just open it like this. And then when you open it, this is how it looks. It has all of this storage. You can tell it's good quality, a real vintage. And then also it has a little pocket right here. So that's really nice. We got a pocket right there. And then we also have um, a little card holder right here to put like multiple cards on there. And then, and then on the other side, you have a card holder as well. And then you have storage right here and then storage right here, which is another pocket. Then down here, you have another card holder where you can put your ID. Also, you can store stuff right here. And then also, it has the, um, it also has the pocket for like cash. So, absolutely love this. This is absolutely a staple. So glad I found this. It looks so good. Very vintage and it's really good quality. I, like, I can tell it's good quality. So, I'm definitely about to be carrying this every day. <laughs> Because y'all, this about to be my every, literally this about to be my everyday little wallet because I need something to where I can put like more than one little like card in. So this is definitely about to come in handy. Comment, let me know if you guys have any of these. I love this. And then like I said, I got the little zipper pouch in the back. See so like a little zipper pouch in the back like that. This was $1.49. Come on now, don't play with her. 
and then you can do that this can be worn out by itself you know just a cute little like this is so cute love this i'm so glad i found this it looks so good love this you could tell it's like that old school like just bought a yeah this is cute so this was like the first look, like purse thing i got but i'm gonna show y'all the grand finale on purses that i got is y'all ready for this sis your girl found this absolutely beautiful vintage okay vintage looking bag okay y'all when i seen this purse automatically this symbol right here gave me prada vibes i was like is that a prada this purse was basically brand new that i just got from the goodwill and the price was i think six dollars but guys this was brand new like it has a little like plastic tag on the side and it also has the little um button thing where you can make it wider and then it also has a little zipper in the back as well super cute and i just love this handle i have never had a bag with this type of handle this is absolutely stunning this is a stunning piece of bag very vintage um i just i don't see me seeing somebody with a bag like this i could not pass this up y'all know i was not passing this up this is my style y'all know this is my style so it's just so beautiful black leather the leather looks really good it doesn't even look like bad quality like it actually looks like good quality and i just love this the straps are absolutely gorgeous they're in place everything just looks good and you can just easily put it up on your shoulder just like this like a vibe sis like a real vibe like i can see me now at the airport or just anywhere like this is definitely this is fire this is fire this will go with any of my coats like wow i'm so glad i got this this is so gorgeous it's very vintage looking and i think that's what really just make it stand out because it's very vintage so i did want to um show you guys how this green jacket looks on me as well as probably the black jacket um now the black jacket the only thing i don't like is that the black jacket actually has shoulder pads i don't care for that in particular but yeah so the black jacket has shoulder pads um i don't care for that look i mean it's i don't know i'm debating if i want to take the shoulder pads out or not but overall it's a really cute coat but super cute like look at this coat like really so cute this is definitely a women's coat and actually the shoulder pads actually might not be that bad to be honest let me scoot this bag so yeah this is how it looks really cute vintage really cute this is how it looks in the back it has like a little like split in the back too as well and it's just such a vintage coat like these coats are coming back you see like everybody with these coats now so i'm just grabbing them all up because see i've been wearing these type of coats before they even got back trendy like i've been wearing these coats so super nice i love this one so that's how the black one looks like i said it has two big pockets on the side this is the detail it's like a wool like material so it's really warm so it's gonna be really warm for the winter and then like i said these are the arms really cute so let me know what you guys think about this so far but i'm loving it it's really cute so this right here is the green trench y'all see the material i was talking about it's like real soft like you can tell on camera it's really soft y'all see that mm. both coats has all its linings so yeah a w fire 
Now, like I said, all the coats are oversized. So that's what I loved about them is that they're all oversized. I really like that look because I can layer, put sweaters up under it or whatever I want to do, add scarves on top, whatever I want to do. So all the coats are layered. So this is how the green one looks. This is so cute. Okay. Like this is so far. Like, I'm gonna try to put you on the corner so y'all can really get a, a good look at this green one. And then it also has the belt, which when I seen it had the belt, I was like, ah, oh, yeah, I gotta have this. So you can basically take the belt and you can basically tighten up okay so okay so this is how it looks with the um with the belt okay really nice so you can tighten it and then it also has this right here where you can put this inside of here so you can either let it hang or you can take it all the way to the back right here also this trench coat has two large pockets which looks amazing and are going to really come in handy okay like i said i don't know what size it is but it fits me and i like the oversized so yeah really cute and you can tighten it loosen it however you want to this is how the back looks love the sleeves like love how the sleeves are like oversized i just love that for me okay I love the little leg action you can give, okay? Like I said, you can always put it to the side or however you want to wear it, but this is gorgeous. Like, oversized, gorgeous. Love this. This bag right here will go so cute with this. Like, take it. Really cute. And then when you just want to cover it up, you can also just cover it up. Because it's just as cute when your leg is not showing either. You know what I'm saying? You can still just, you know, do it like this. With your legs all the way covered. So, absolutely love this. It is stunning. And then with the bag, it's super cute. Like I said, love the oversized sleeve. I just love this look and yeah the bag actually goes really cute with it as well and like i said i can always put the bag on my shoulder so it looks really good on my shoulder as well let me know what you guys think about this look like i love this with the bag it's really pretty and i can also have the bag just like to, to the side you know pocket vibe I gotta see how I look with the black coat too I already know it's fire though cause you know you just can't go wrong with that black but yeah let me know what you guys think about this trench coat it's really cute it is a little bit lighter okay I just been doing like a little editing um responding to emails I'm really tired for real uh the time right now is 10 o'clock um Good thing I ain't got to be working early in the morning. So, that's the only good thing. But, I did go ahead and cook my food. Um, I made some salmon, some rice, and some asparagus. So, this is how it looks right here. Just like a little salmon, a little asparagus, a little rice. Just a nice little light, slightly healthy meal. Sort of, but not really. Um, but, I do love salmon a lot. Um, this is a sauce that I use, which is the Paradise Pineapple Teriyaki to go on my salmon, which is really good. And I end up getting this from Kroger's. It's so good. But, um, also I put on my rice, I put some, um, 
I put some balsamic vinegar. I've been using this, um, I thought it was raspberry, but I guess it's not. Anyways, I just used this balsamic vinaigrette. Comment, let me know if you guys use balsamic vinaigrette on like your rice or like any like food or anything. But this is what I use for my rice, just to give it like a little flavor. And then I used a little teriyaki pineapple for um, my salmon. I like to also eat my salmon um, plain too sometimes with just like butter. Um, seasoning and um some lemon comment below if you guys like um asparagus i love asparagus like they're so good but i did change it to like my little robe my little red little silk robe it's real cute and then i'm gonna just add a little sauce on this um salmon but y'all this sauce is so fire like i ain't even gonna lie i literally picked it up on a random and y'all it turned out to be good like literally so this is how it look now mm, with the sesame seeds on it it's about to go so hard this is how it look now with the salmon and the rice and the asparagus back there looking so scrumptious scrum daily okay let me stop playing but super hungry really tired um after i think i watch tv i'm so tired y'all i don't even want to watch tv i ain't gonna lie so good mm, 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 mm. asparagus I bake my asparagus in the oven. Comment, let me know. Do you guys bake your asparagus in the oven? Because I bake mine in the oven at 350 for like 13 minutes. And then for my salmon, I just cook it on both sides for five minutes a piece. And then I just use the beans rice, the little one minute rice, put it in my microwave. Fire. Literally. fire yeah i use this water bottle all the time now it's really helping me drink more water because i feel like i fell off for a minute so like i said this is a glass um water bottle um and i just put like you know water and stuff in there so this is just what i'm drinking with my food water I also take it to work too. I think I'm gonna watch Insecure tonight. I've been binge watching that show lately. Yeah, I am so hungry. Like, y'all never had no idea. It took me literally so long just to make my food and sit down because I'm constantly working. It's crazy. But, so yeah, I'm gonna watch Insecure tonight. So, yeah hair still looking good though i ain't took it off yet but make sure y'all cop this wig because it's a really nice i love it i think i'm gonna wear it to work tomorrow it's giving those work vibes all right let me go ahead and turn on insecure <laughs>
loves and welcome to a new day i hope you guys are all having an amazing day and i hope your day is off to an amazing start i did make some breakfast this morning um i just ended up making some belgian waffles and some potato cakes from trader joe's ever since i have had these belgian waffles and potato cakes they have literally became a staple in my house comment below if you guys shop at um trader joe's and if you guys have ever had belgian waffles or potato cakes i made some coffee as well okay so guys today before i go to work i want to show you guys what i kind of want to do for the dining room area so if you don't know or if you're new here um i did take my dining table from like my back little room and i put it inside of my living room because it's like an open concept in here and i think it looks really good in here too as well so the table looks really good in here this is actually my first time having breakfast in the living room slash dining room open concept room um this morning so it's a really cute vibe so just really appreciate my space i want to um show you guys what i plan on doing to the room and you know just kind of show you guys how it looks right now i don't really know what i want to do with it i'm not gonna lie um <laughs> i don't really have a plan like i don't really know what i want to do with it um i would love for it to be like a little sitting area um i know you guys seen where i had like a little couch in there and like a little table but i kind of rearranged that too as well I'm just trying to like you know make things in the house functional i do have a sitting area inside my living room already so i'm not sure if i really want the area to be another sitting area you understand what i'm saying i want to show you guys that before um i leave for work today it is a beautiful day that the lord has made thank you lord for waking us up this morning thank you jesus um you know just very grateful you know just to be here because i know a lot of people um didn't make it this year so i'm just going to finish up my breakfast a little bit and then i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how it's looking, the plans that I want to do for the room and stuff like that. And I want you guys to give me your suggestions and your opinions on what do you guys suggest that I do to the room as well. And do you guys have like a little extra back room that's kind of connected to your kitchen and then also kind of connected to your living room too as well. And what did you do with yours? I'm just going to eat a little breakfast and then after this we're going to go ahead and head into the back room and I'm going to show you guys exactly what's going on. Okay guys, so jumping right in. So first things first. The coffee station that was right here, I moved it over to this wall. This is where the little couch used to be, okay? So I moved it because I feel like I wanted this window to be open. I feel like this window is very inspiring when it's open. And I just feel like it just looks better when it's open, right? So I ended up putting the coffee station over here. So uh, entryway table, little coffee station. And that's just there, okay? This is just like, just kind of just placed everything just so I could have like a lot of space in the middle so I could just kind of figure out what I want to do. Right here, um, I just put like a little plant in the corner. Again, just trying to, you know, create like a little, you know, vibe or something, you know? Um, and okay, so that's right there, boom. Now we got this ad, okay? Y'all see it? Y'all see it? That's that little couch that was over here on the other wall. These right here are two side tables that you guys have seen already which was in my room before and i just kind of just got them out here because i ain't put them nowhere else for now this is how this room is looking now granted it's a really nice size room to really make some stuff happen but i just don't know what i want to put in here like i said i was thinking about a sitting area but i just want to put something in here that's really functional so i'm gonna tell you what i was thinking well okay first off this is the fireplace i know y'all like girl uncover that but look <laughs> this is the fireplace which i got like this little like um air fryer down there but this is the fireplace i know it's not painted or anything this is the fireplace so like i said that's why it gives me like a den kind of vibe um and stuff like that so it's like right but i don't this is the thing i don't know if i really want to really deal with the fireplace for real to be honest um me personally i wouldn't mind like some type of shelving unit or something to actually cover that up and then put the core on top of it that's just my opinion and then put something there that's just my opinion okay i don't really want to paint it i don't i don't really want to do any of that to that right now like i said this is how it's looking right now with the fireplace uncovered that's the little chair area that's the little chair and yeah, this is how it's looking right now. I got the curtains up here already. Little closet right there, little doorway. This was a door before, okay? It was a door right there. So what do y'all think about me actually hanging up some curtains right there? I was honestly thinking about putting black curtains up, putting the rod all the way up to the top and putting some black curtains up. 
what do y'all think i think it'd be really cute to kind of separate this area from other areas let me know what you guys think okay but i really like the space that's in between i like the open floor space and that's why i put the couch over here on the fireplace because i really like the floor being open because i feel like i can put pretty much anything in here the floors look real good though i ain't gonna lie i did a really good job picking out these floors okay guys so that is going to conclude today's video i hope you guys all enjoyed the vlog comment below let me know what you guys thought about my outfit of today and then also let me know what you guys think i should do to the little back room and also are you guys feeling like the whole like fitness like area or should, like should i make it like a little cozy area did you guys shop at the goodwill and did you guys like some of the items that i end up finding i think everything was really nice and very just like vintage like and then also comment let me know if you guys shop at trader joe's too as well and then also are you guys looking to get this wig do you guys like this hair on me does it fit my face um or do you even wear wigs or are you a natural hair girl so let me know if you guys are going to purchase this wig and do you think it's cute and then also let me know if you guys like to wear luxury loungewear around the house i will leave links to everything that took place in today's vlog let me know what you guys think about the little back area um and stuff like that i believe that's everything i want to thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys in my next one bye guys mm -hmm.